Hello everyone, welcome, John here. In today's video, we are going to be looking at more Selenium stuff. We are going to be uh, web scraping dynamic websites using Selenium. Uh, this is part two of my little mini series. Uh, part one was on the basics, so if you haven't seen that, go and watch that, uh, and let's get going. So this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to scrape some data off YouTube. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, a YouTube channel, we, we use mine for this example, and we're going to filter by and sort by top videos and we're going to use selenium to go ahead and get that information and get us the top videos uh, and the views and when they were posted now you can't do this using requests and beautiful soup because youtube dynamically loads all of its content and you won't be able to get that information out so that's where we get to use selenium so the first thing we want to do is import selenium into our script so we're going to do from selenium import web driver now that's the only one we're going to need to import for this one. The next thing we want to do is set our URL and that's URL is equal to. Now I have this opened up here. This is my YouTube page. Um, and what I've done here is you can see that we have our URL and I, I have gone into videos and then I've done sort by most popular and that has given us this URL at the top. This will then sort it by the most popular videos and it will give us the top sort of however many it is uh, on the page loaded that we can get the information for. So I'm going to copy that, put that back over there, and paste it in here, nice and long. So the next thing we want to do is to use our Selenium driver to access the page. So we need to assign that, so we're going to do driver is equal to web driver dot, and we're going to use Chrome. I prefer to use Chrome, don't know why, I just do. Uh, and then we can do driver.get and the URL. So now if I, if I run this now, this should open up this URL that we just looked at in Chrome. There we go, it's worked. And we can see that it's got the most popular views, at the, uh, the most popular videos at the top in, in sorted order. So that's good. Now we want to open our browser up again and inspect the elements to see where the information is that we want to extract. So if I open this back up, and we go to inspect. I'll make this a bit bigger. And zoom in a bit. Hopefully we can all see. So we need to try and find out with our inspect tool where everything is and what, what the elements look like that we can get to. So straight away I can see that this is where the video title is right here. You can see it's highlighted on the left hand side. Now if we wanted to just get this particular element and the information from it we could just copy this and go ahead and run that but we want to be able to loop through each one of our videos so we need to look up a bit further and we need to find something that we can um, something that's common that we can uh, get all of the elements of and then loop through those. So if we just go back up a couple that won't work, that's not good enough keep going that's there okay uh, this one now if we click on this one we can see that this seems to have all the information of the video highlighted so this is a class of style scope blah, 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 video render okay so I'm going to copy that for now and if we go back down to a, another video here and we go we can see that we've got it again here video renderer and it highlights the next one so this looks like a class that we can use to get all of the elements that match this class and then extract the information from that. So I'm just going to go and paste that in over here so we've got that saved. So within each of one of those we want to be able to get the uh, the, the title and the views and the, the um, how long ago it was posted. So we're still within our class that we've gone and found here. So this one. Now within that this is where the title is so we can go ahead and copy the path and we can put that in and then the views let's copy that and also the two months there that's down here we can see that's behind me you can see it there let's copy that we can close that because we've got all the information we need so now we can start writing so let's do videos is equal to Driver dot find elements. Now this find elements because we want every single one of this class, and it's by 
class name like that and let's put this in here so that's the class that we found that had all the information in for us okay so now we want to be able to loop through this video variable we've just created. created so let's say video for video in videos and let's do title is equal to now if we were to do driver dot find element by path we would only ever get the first one up but what we need to do is we need to go within each individual element that we've done so we want to call it video so let's do video dot find element element uh, by path and let's put this in here now what this is saying is we're going to look with within our uh, every single element that matches this class name because it's a plural we're going to store that in here and for each one in the, in there we're going to store it in this variable and then we're going to look in that variable video for the element of that matches this and that will get us the title out now there's one other thing that we have to do for this and then we have to put in a little dot here because what this means is that the dot searches within this element as opposed to within the whole uh, page so that's very important because otherwise we wouldn't get the information out that we're actually after so let's do the same for views uh, views is equal to again video dot find element by path and let's put the views one in there again with our dot and then for the uh, we'll just call this when video dot find by path and put that in and again our dot so we can get rid of these we don't need these now um, what we do want to do is we want to put dot text on the end of each of these so we get the text information and not the object information or whatever else might come out so let's print that out now to see that that's working uh, title views and when so now if we run this Hopefully, if we've done nothing wrong, this should give us all the videos. There we go. We can see it's just gone through each one of those. Let's close this out. We can see the title, the number of views, and how long ago it was posted. So that's basically the crux of it. What we'll do is we'll uh, import pandas, and we'll store that information in a data frame so it's easier to view and manipulate uh, or export to Excel or whatever. So we'll import pandas as PD, and this is my favorite way, uh, although pandas is a really powerful library used for a lot of data analysis and data science, I find it really easy for small things like this just to import in and put my data into a data frame so then I can export it um, to Excel or CSV or, or whatever I want. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an item, so I'm going to call this vid item because I've already used video. Um, let's say the title is equal to the title that we found and views is views and we'll do um, let's call it posted posted and that's what we called when so that's going to store all of the information inside our dictionary here and we can then if we create a blank list we can add that to it so let's call this video list really imaginative names that's our blank list and let's say uh, video list dot append vid item so all we're doing is we're going through each of the videos like we just saw where we printed out the names and the views and we're storing it into a dictionary and and then we're going to append that to a list and then the last thing we want to do is we're going to put that, in, that list into a data frame. So let's just do df is equal to pd dot data frame and the video list like that. And then we can print out our data frame. Okay, so there we go. We've managed to um, use Selenium to uh, extract information from a dynamic website. 
we've used the a YouTube channel and we've gone ahead and filtered it and sorted it how we wanted, copied the URL and we've ext extracted uh, by expecting the element and finding where everything is, we've extracted the title of the video, the views and how long ago it was posted. Thanks everyone for watching, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, uh, give me a like if you have, leave me a comment, uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, there'll be more. Uh, this was part two of my Selenium mini series, uh, in the first one it was much more of the basics but we still did some cool stuff in there so if you haven't seen that go and watch that one. Uh, in this one we've used Selenium to extract dynamic uh, information from dynamic websites uh, and then in the next one we're going to explore how to run your Selenium scripts headless on a Linux server. That's really cool. We could run this um, this little script that we've written here say we could set it up to run automatically every month every week or something and then give us the information. So stick around for that one. Thanks guys, bye.